In this video we will set up environment level and also the card for our player for our game and also we will set up the camera so first of all we will uh, just go to our uh, asset which is uh, here for racing tracks we have sprint track we have drift track in this asset uh, we have downloaded from unity for free and you can see very nice track here so what we will do we will just uh, uh, save this track saves as scenes and we will just name it as a track one so we will just uh, save it and uh, now you can see that uh, in scenes section we have track one okay so inside track one we will just uh, assemble our car now so we'll just go to assets standard assets vehicles car and we have a prefabs and this is the player car we will just duplicate it control d and then we'll just add this car to the environment uh, before doing anything else we will just right click on this car and we'll just go to prefab and we'll unpack the prefab otherwise uh, our settings will not be saved we'll just go back and uh, here you can see we have some cars which we have bring from asset store and uh, this is sport car so let's uh, add, add this uh, any uh, car model this car is actually with uh, some color so let's add this one okay so now you can see that this is the new car i think the size of this car is good uh, but yeah actually that is good so now what we'll do we'll just uh, unpack this prefab as well so new car prefab and unpack so both prefabs are unpacked now we'll select the main car we'll just go to its uh, position transform and we'll just copy the position of the main car now we'll select the other car we'll just go to transform and we'll just go to paste position so now the position of the new car is here now for this sky car uh, if we select this sky car you can see that uh, it has a lot of uh, sub game objects where we have the uh, wheels as well so if we select the wheel you can see that this is the wheel mesh only and uh, here in the right side you can see only the wheel mesh but you can't see any wheel colliders or wheel uh, any adjustment for the wheel colliders so the wheel colliders are actually adjusted here in the section of wheel hubs so if we select the wheel hub open the wheel hub and if we select front right you can see that this is the wheel collider and wheel collider is actually you can see this green uh, line the green circle uh, this is adjusted in the middle approximately in the middle of the tire okay so we will adjust these wheel hubs to the new tire so before that we need to delete the tires of the wheels but don't delete these wheel hubs okay we only need to delete these wheel tires okay so here we will just uh, select the tires uh, rear right rear left front right front left and we also don't need suspension we also don't need mud cord and we will just uh, delete uh, we will uh, also delete sky part uh, bar main body we will also delete the car components although we just uh, leave these things uh, light glow the front headlight glow and the brake glow so let's delete everything and uh, now you can see this is our new car and uh, actually you can see the lighting is not good so we will just uh, delete the headlight as well we don't need it we need it only the uh, black back uh, light uh, we, uh, i think it will be adjustable at the uh, it will be adjusted at the same position it, if uh, that will not right we can adjust it manually no problem so now you can see this is the new car and uh, first of all we will adjust the wheel colliders for this car so uh, before doing anything else we will just uh, move this car to this main car one and i will just add it to sky car or even you can add it to main car as well it's up to you 
and uh, now uh, after this what we will do we will just go to wheel hubs and uh, we will select all of the wheel hubs and uh, we will just adjust these wheel hubs so let's start with the left side so we will just move it to approximately the middle of the tire and from the this side view you can see uh, everything is fine although we can move it a little bit upward I think and uh, yeah a little bit upward yeah now I think it's good and now for the uh, left side uh, this was the right side so for the left side we will select the front left and rear left and now we will just move it to the middle of the tire Let's make it ok and <coughs> then uh, for the back wheels rear uh, left and rear right we will adjust them accordingly so we will just move it like this yeah so now you can see that everything is set up correctly regarding wheels okay so now I uh, will just select the main car and I will just change the name of this car to car yellow player okay and uh, now we will select this car and uh, here in the right side you can see the wheel colliders and wheel meshes as well so in the wheel meshes we will add the new car wheels okay so if we extend this car uh, you can see it has uh, wheels as well here so for these wheels we will add the front or right wheel first of all because our colliders are like this front right front left so front left will be the second wheel back right will be the third wheel back left will be the fourth wheel so now wheels uh, are adjusted and that is the setting of actually our car so uh, before doing anything else we will also set up the camera but uh, for the car I will just add this camera and uh, let's uh, make it to reset and let's make it to like this and just um, I want to play it and I want to check it whether everything is working fine or not and you can see that car is working absolutely fine although the lighting has a little bit issue but you can see that car is moving and uh, very nice so now we will adjust the camera so let's move the camera back uh, to the scene and uh, now the first thing is that if you will see the camera you can see that uh, the camera tag is on tag so whenever you have one camera uh, in your scene it should be uh, the main camera ok so first of all we will just select it main camera for the camera uh, for the car we have several options we have already built in camera for the uh, standard assets car but uh, uh, I will show you the another way which is a cine machine camera and it is very useful way and uh, it will be useful for other games as well so let's go to window and uh, package manager and then uh, we'll just search for cine machine and uh, now we will just download the cine machine and we will import the cine machine into our project this way is very useful and uh, now we will just import it import it so now cell machine a camera is a, 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 a cell machine package is imported and now for creating cell machine camera you can see that one more menu is here with the name of cell machine and we will add a virtual camera 
so now virtual camera is added to our scene and I will just change the name of this camera to car camera and now you can see that this camera has some components like virtual camera component and uh, yeah this component we have and if you select the main camera you will see that on the main camera one more component is added which is machine brain okay so that's great now we'll select the car camera and if we go to game scene you can see that ca ca camera is not fixed uh, at the position of car so now we will just select the car camera and here in the follow we will drag drop this car cam uh, car player object and also we will add car uh, to the look at position as well so now as you can see that this is the look at position of for the car and we don't need it we want to change this position we can also change the field of view etc and for the body we will just open the body and here you can see follow offset so for follow offset we will just increase the y option and you can see that we can move the camera accordingly okay so i will just make it uh, two maybe uh two is good number or uh, one point five 1.5 uh, 1.7 is good number I think so we can change it later on no problem and for the Z index you can see that it is minus 10 uh, let's make it minus 9 okay uh, you can play with the numbers and uh, damping as well it's up to you so now that's great our camera is adjusted so now if you play the game you will see that our camera will follow the car and uh, when our car will be speedy the camera will be uh, far away and if we, our car is uh, you can see slow camera is near to the car if our car is far away our camera is like that okay and you can see that we have successfully added a car to our scene we will adjust the some settings of the car as well and uh, as well as the wheels as well uh, so for that purpose i will just do the adjustment right now we'll select the car we'll just go to the car settings and uh, here you can see that uh, inside the car uh, uh, these are the main settings where you can uh, change the torque reverse torque etc we will just increase the downforce to 150 uh, top speed to 200 and the brake torque i will just increase it to something like 35000 for better brakes uh, slip limit i will just uh, increase it to 0 0.8 and uh, rev range boundary we will just uh, uh, make it uh, a little bit small like 0 0.7 maybe uh, and actually this is for uh, gear change okay so when, uh, when the value is small the gear will be uh, uh, changed fastly okay a little bit fast so that's the setting now we will just uh, open the car and if we go to wheels hubs uh, which are actually the wheel colliders are added and if we go to wheel effects uh, you can see we have suspension spring and uh, we also have forward friction and sideway friction so we'll just increase the stiffness to something like 1.5 and uh, for forward friction also 1.7 uh, uh, i think which will be better and now if we play the game you will see that our car uh, grip on the road will be much better than before so let's uh, play it and let's see it again yeah now you can see grip is quite better than before yeah that's great okay although the speed is too uh, high for this road and uh, that can be the problem and that we can fix later on also the lighting you can see that uh, uh, lights are not in a proper uh, position so we can select the lights and uh, for the lights we have these uh, headlights and uh, sky car lights and
and uh, okay uh, we will just adjust the, uh, the uh, back lights and uh, then we will move further I will check out where are that lights and then we will move further in the next video Allah Hafiz